Oh no. Hi guys, Dave Yelovic with Homes Built Right. I'm weeping. I just can't handle it. My brand new brick wall has holes in it. What is this world coming to? Let's talk about it. Hi everybody, Dave Yelovic and uh, I'm back. Uh, I apologize, I'm a little more composed now. But uh, weep holes. Weep holes is, uh, just as the name implies, something that uh, every masonry job needs. Whether you have brick like this or you have stone, the code says you gotta have a weep hole. You don't really know it, you can't really tell, but behind this brick wall, this is just a veneer, there's about a one inch, or the code says there needs to be a minimum of a one inch gap between this brick and the actual wall that starts the structure of the house. So on rainy days, water will go through brick, water will go through mortar, water will go through stone, and it'll dribble down the back side of this wall, and then it'll come down at the bottom of the wall through the weep hole. So let me bring you in here. I'll show you, a, there's the bottom of the wall. So there's a weep hole. So the code says at least three eighths of an inch wide, no more than 33 inches on center. Uh, in stone, they might be round, uh, half inch round or so. Um. Um, but they are at the bottom of the wall. On a day like today, it's hot, humid here in Texas, it's letting air in to the wall system. That's great. Having air circulate through that little airspace is great. It keeps mold and mildew from forming. On the rainy days when the water's getting through, the water trickles down and comes out. So that's its entire job, a weep hole. It lets water out, it weeps out the weep hole. And then on most days when it's not raining, the air can circulate through there and dry out the cavity. So you'll find these, like I said, at the bottom of the wall, no more than 33 inches on center. You'll find them also above windows, at, uh, above lintels. Lintels are that steel thing up there holding up the brick. But uh, very simple concept. So do not, if you see a bug crawl into one, say, oh, honey, go cock up all those holes at the bottom of the wall. That's not a good idea. Your house should be sealed up behind all this. Okay, that wall that's behind here should be sealed up and bugs should not be getting in anyway. So if you see little roaches, ants, whatever getting in there, do a little pest control around the house, but do not ever plug up a weep hole. Um, that'll just lead to mold and mildew and all sorts of other problems, you don't want that. So, quick lesson on weep holes. Hope you enjoy it. I'm Dave Yelovic. Uh, if you like this, click the like there on the screen, subscribe to our channel, and uh, I hope to see you again on Homes Built Right.